In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The God of life who broke the bonds of death and raised Jesus from the tomb be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Good morning and happy Easter. Can celebrating with me today, as most of you know, are my dear friends, Father Brian Lenane, Father Tim Brown, and Father Thomas Roach. We gather this morning with great joy to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ and to spiritually memorialize our freedom from the bondage of human sin. And on this highest holy day of the church year, let us rejoice in God's light with which we are gifted each day, even in the toughest of times, by being able to spend quality time with our families, prayerfully appreciate the many who are on the front lines with the sick in, the pandem in this pandemic, and have the time and mindset to pray. Pray for the loss that so many are facing, and pray for hope. My sisters and brothers, let us implore the blessing of God that this rite of sprinkling may revive in us the grace of baptism through which we have been immersed in the redeeming death of the Lord, that we may rise also to the glory of new life. O God most high from the Lamb's sacrifice for us on the cross, you have made spring come up for us, fountains of living water. O Christ, you have renewed the youthfulness of your church in the cleansing of water with the word of the Lord. Almighty God, who in the sacred signs of our faith renew the wonders of creation and redemption, bless this water. And grant that all who have been born again in baptism may be witnesses to the paschal mystery, which is forever renewed in your church. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And let us glorify God by praising him with our prayer. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, earth people to people of goodwill. Good will. We praise Praise you, you we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify. You. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God our Father. Amen. And let us pray. On this most holy day, Lord God, through the triumph of your only begotten Son, you have shattered the gates of death and opened the way to everlasting life. Grant, we beseech you, that we who celebrate the festival of the Lord's resurrection may rise to a new and glorious life through the quickening power of your Spirit. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Passover and our peace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be, vis be visible, not to all people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, 
who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one anointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will, see, will, will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. response, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day, the, day the Lord, Lord has made. made. Let, us, Let rejoice us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. This, this is the day the, day the Lord, Lord has made. made. Let, Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This, this is the day the, day the Lord, Lord has made. made. Let, Let us, us rejoice, rejoice and be glad. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast leavens the whole batch of dough? Clean out the old yeast so that you may be a new batch as you really are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb Christ has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the festival, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ.
I had an extraordinary afternoon this past week. Father Brown and I were talking about everything happening to all of us. And he shared very graceful tears with me. He spoke of his tears for the suffering and the fearful ambiguity of those who so tenderly people our lives. And I know his heart, a heart of amazing empathy, a heart so deeply immersed in the things of God, the spirit of God, the sadness of God, and the hopefulness of God, that I left somehow knowing that Tim's tears are God's tears too. And I took a walk by myself around campus up Charles Street, passing Notre Dame in the fac. And with deliberate prayerful steps, I was enmeshed in God, admiring God in the trees and the early blooming daffodils, that I am part of his creation, and I had a moment. The gray sky opened just a bit, just for a moment, and a tiny shard of sunlight warmed me. I was enveloped by the brisk swirling winds, and I knew in that moment that God was wrapping his arms of creation around me, around Father Brown. And I stood still, knowing love, feeling safe. And it was for me a moment of pure goodness, a moment of the divine, before entering into the great deafening silence of Good Friday with my Jesuit brothers. Today, Easter Sunday is about resurrection, the resurrection of Jesus, God's Christ, our Christ. A call for great joy and celebration, marking our salvation and our eternal intimacy with the triune God, Father, Son, and Spirit. For in Jesus' resurrection, we are also called to personal resurrections in our own lives. Jesus was, resur Jesus was resurrected for us and within us, and freed from the, and now freed from the burden of sin, the burden of our own human albatross, we can freely choose the good, the good which we were born into, and honor the sacredness of resurrection in others, a confused soul finding purpose, a broken heart on the mend, a rediscovery of the sacred, a learning from our mistakes, a lost one coming home. We are Christians. We are a people of hope because God breathed hope into our very being. We are a resurrected people because we exist in communion with Jesus Christ, the risen Christ. I know we will get through our current struggles with the help of the Lord who knows our fears, our anxieties, and our frustrations. Many of us might shed grateful tears like Father Brown for those we love and those we don't even know who are suffering. But we won't give up. We can't give up because God lives both in our joy and our heartbreak. And we will resurrect, that I know, perhaps to a new normal, a new way of experiencing life, but the constancy of God's love for us remains never changing, never ending. This is our faith. This is the faith of our church. For a risen Christ will be a ray of light in the shadow of times ahead. And a risen Christ gives us hope, hope for the dawn of a brand new day. Now, now let, us, let us all together re profess our faith by responding, we do believe. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? We do, we do believe. believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, who rose from the dead, 
and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. We, we do, do believe. believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? We, do, we, do, we believe. do believe. This is our faith. This is the faith of our church, and we are proud to profess it in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, Christ is risen, and the power of his resurrection fills the world today with new life. With hope and expectation, let us bring him our needs today. We pray for the human family around the globe. May we overcome the darkness and death of COVID-19 and experience new life together. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for local and world leaders. May they be inspired to be true servant leaders now and in the future. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those on the front lines of this battle against COVID-19. May they stay safe from harm and illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our entire Loyola community. May we remain connected to each other and lift each other up in prayer and support. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who are sick, for those who are dying, especially for Tom Delaney, for those who mourn, and for all who have passed from this life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. God of life, ground of our faith, with Jesus you have raised us up in the waters of baptism and given us life that endures. Day by day, refine our faith, and remove any trace of unbelief, that we may confess Jesus as our Lord and God, and share more fully in, in, him risen, in his risen life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 I pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all God's holy church. Acceptable, Lord, we pray the oblations of your people and of those who have brought to new birth, you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confessing your confession of your name and by baptism, we may attain on any happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to allow you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy 
Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and giving thanks, Jesus said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Ignatius Loyola, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the whole world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, with William, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. Please remember also, Lord, your servants reborn in baptism, whom you've been pleased to confirm by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And in your mercy, preserve in them the gift of your grace. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, please give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Spirit all glory and honor, honor is yours forever, forever and, ever. and ever. Amen. Amen.
In Christ we have received the spirit of adoption, and so as sons and daughters we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be kept free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And our Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, to my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. Let's offer each other a joyful sign of peace on this Easter morning. Peace. Thank you. Peace. Peace, Lord. Thank you. Peace, Amy. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Draw near to us in joy to the Lord's table, the feast from which all life flows, and the foretaste of the heavenly feast where we shall want for nothing. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Blessed are we who are called to the Lamb of to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, this is for you. Please come spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you now as if you were already there, and we unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be parted from you. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Good morning. Um, I just wanted to say a, a warm wishes for a happy Easter and a joy-filled Easter. I want to especially speak to our students um, and to remind them, I hope, I hope that they have a, a, a great Easter and time with their families. I also want to remind them that when we start the week again, on Tuesday for us, this will be the last push of the semester. And it's been really rewarding to see how engaged our students have been with their faculty and in keeping up with their courses. It's been a really great experience, or really, it's not a great experience, but it's a consoling one that we have been able to maintain that contact. So I encourage you to work hard. Remember that the end of the semester is in sight. I also have been reflecting, and I just want to share uh, my concern and my well wishes, because I think of you know, how hard it is for 
an old guy like me to be kind of quarantined at home and staying at home and not going out and not seeing my friends. And I can imagine for all of you, um, being at home, your friends at home, and not being able to go out and to see them uh, is a real tragedy and a real difficulty. But I encourage you again in the wonderful words of Father Jack this morning that we, we can do this, we are doing it, and we will come out on the other side to a brighter and happier day. I want to especially thank Father Jack for all of his organizational um, activities, especially in concert with the Department of Campus Ministry, Father Tim Brown from the Selinger School, and Father Tom Roach also in Campus Ministry for joining together this morning so that we can bring this great celebration into your homes. I want to thank um, our friends from Event Services for coming out this morning to um, broadcast this, this liturgy as they have been doing faithfully through our, um, this time when we've been separated. And I also want to give a special thanks to our incredibly talented and our incredibly faithful Amy Klosterman, who is providing us with lovely background music. So I hope as far as you can that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful celebration of this great feast of our Christian faith. And now I think Father Jack has a few announcements as well. I do, I always do. <clears throat> As we bring our Easter Mass to a close, one bright spot in these ambiguous times facing us is that I believe our Earth is trying to thank us for what we're doing or not doing. Without the usual means of transportation that we're so accustomed to, our environment is getting a bit of a reprieve. Stars and beautiful skies across the globe, unseen just a few months ago, are now visible in all their glory. Another ray of light from the shadows, and in, this, as, and in the sage words of Pope Francis, it is our time to learn and contemplate and understand our natural world. We need to reconnect with our real surroundings, make this an opportunity for conversion. Three short announcements. One is next Sunday, our, uh, our Loyola Mass will return to its originals, 6 p.m., uh, Sunday time. So we'll be back at 6 o'clock next Sunday. Number two, uh, happy birthday to Father Brown and my uh, good friend, Loyola graduating senior John Ridley. And the third is from my dear friend, Michael Mahan, who asks that we now more than ever manifest our Lord to each other with love, patience, humility, intentional sacrifice, and forgiveness, imbuing these to our core values, our souls. Amen. And the Lord be with you. With your, with your spirit. spirit. Let's bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. And after each stanza, please respond, amen. May the Lord who has redeemed you and made you adopted children through the resurrection of his only son bless you and fill you with joy. Amen. amen. May the God who has bestowed on you the gifts of redemption and lasting freedom make you heirs of eternal life. Amen. amen. May the God who joined you to Christ's resurrection by faith and baptism lead you to live justly and so bring you to your home in heaven. Amen. 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 And may Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is over. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord, one another, and enjoy a wonderful Christmas day together. Easter, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanksgiving. No blurs. Baptism. Easter. Corrected.